Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. And how about you? I am very well, thank you. My name is Joella. What is your name? Um, you can call me Cha, and I'm from Vietnam. Nice to meet you, Cha. Um, where in Vietnam are you from? Mm, so, I'm come from a metropolitan city. So, it's very close to the capital city of Vietnam, Hanoi. So. Oh, wonderful. That's so cool. Well, I'm from the west coast of Canada, Vancouver, BC. Have you mm -hmm. heard of Vancouver before? Um, not yet. Not yet? Well, there you go. <laughs> well, uh, Vancouver is a very, it's one of the most popular cities in Canada um, mm -hmm. because it's, um, it's very, it's a very beautiful city. It ha it's right where the ocean meets the mountains. Uh, so you have city life, but you also have a lot of nature. Um, but right now I actually moved to Ecuador. So I'm living, I've been living in um, Ecuador for a couple of year now, a couple of years now. Mm, wow. Yeah, mm, it's lovely yeah. to meet you. Equally. Yeah, same here. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you a student? Are you working? Um, so I'm a student in the first year of my the high school. Oh, so you're in grade eight? Um, I'm 15 now. 15. So you're in grade nine then, I think. You have three more years left? Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. So in Canada, you'd be considered to be in grade nine. Right now. I'm uh -huh. in Vietnam. I'm in the... Um, or 10, grade. maybe. 10, yeah. 10, 11. Never mind. Never mind. If you're in 10, 11, 12. So when you're in grade 12, that's when you graduate. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. And how do you like school? Um. So. Uh, okay. So. Um. I'm um, in mean the first year of the high school. So I just mm -hmm. moved on it uh, since last month. So um, yeah, everything is new. You know that I have uh, new teachers. Uh, my classmate is also sociable and friendly so like i'm uh, quite happy and also i have been making friendship with them for over uh, two weeks <laughs> yeah oh good i'm so glad to hear that so everything is going well how about your teachers are they nice um so um, um I didn't get a lot of uh, uh, a lot of high expectation uh, expectations for many subjects so um, like you know like in my own opinion so I love music uh, I love English and I'm fond of it so I just know how to learn English and uh, how to improve more about it. Uh, yeah, so I don't care much about um, many subjects. <laughs> yeah, um, so um, about my teacher, so I don't know much because I just um, moved on <laughs> since um, last month. So every, but, but everything is in, under my control, <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. And you're taking classes uh, right now, like in class, in school, instead of online? Mm, so now in my city, is, um, uh, my city has done very well to uh, protect uh, from the COVID-19. So we mm -hmm. come back our school in this okay. year. Awesome. Yay. That's fantastic. Do you, um, are you glad to be back in school? Mm, uh, it's normal. So like, because after a long time, uh, I at home with my parents and just focusing on the screen with many extra classes at home. So just like feel, feel weird and, 
everything like changes in in their own way. So yeah, yeah. I I don't know to describe my feel my feeling when I at home, but yeah, just happy because I because uh I have my bestie. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. So you go to school with your best friend? Uh, yeah, best friend. Good. Chatting with them many times in in a day. So I'm quite happy. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Is it um and is it far your school from where you live or fairly close? Mm, my school near my home. It takes me just five minutes to go to school. By foot or by car? Five minutes. Oh, I know, but five minutes by foot or by car? By foot. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's really close. Yeah. That's great. And do you participate in any extracurricular activities? I'm sorry? I said, do you participate in any extracurricular activities? Um, yes. So, um, besides go to school, so I have a lot of pastime activity. So like, um, watch movies, and listen to music, play instrument. So, um, Ah, yeah, I love reading book because um, mm. because uh, my father he always uh, reading book a uh, read book at her whole room so uh, at uh, his room so soon I become a bookworm as he is. <laughs> oh, good! So you're like your dad. That's awesome. Reading books. I used to love reading books, especially when I was younger. Um, are you into reading nonfiction or fiction? Mm. Uh, so now I'm quite keen on reading a uh, story. Story. So fiction? Uh, fiction? Like detective books. Yes, but not real. Like not... Like for example, Twilight or those are fiction books, not like wow. they're not based on facts. Uh, so uh, is that Harry Potter is a fiction book? Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. I love Harry Potter. Oh, nice. I actually never read them growing up. I and I remember when I, I remember when they came out. Like I remember people like they would as soon as they would put them on the shelf, they would disappear because they're it would, they were so so popular but i i never got into them i think i read like a chapter of the first one and then i had so much going on in my life uh, i never yeah but they uh from you know what i really like there was a book called ink heart i was obsessed with this book it's a similar if you love english and you love learning new words this is a very descriptive book uh, and um uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, it's about this man, or it's about it. Basically, it's from the point of view of his daughter. But this man has the ability to to breathe life into books. So anything that he reads, it comes out of the book. Ah, oh, wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I really liked it. Um, another book that I liked was Airborne. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, I actually had a crush on the character <laughs> because it was, he was such a cool, it's about this um, really amazing kid. Like he was probably 15, 16 in the mm -hmm. book. And it, that one's really good too. Airborne. By, uh, Airborne, yeah. It's by Airborne. Kenneth Opal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the author is Kenneth Opal. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, so um, actually, um, I have been using Cambly for a long time. So many native teachers said to me that um, the crucial thing to learn English is that reading a book. So 
it's English book. So every day I try my best to read a book and then translate the new word them and their meaning. So I feel like, wow, in this way, so it's feel better than uh, the natural learning. Like, um, so when I started to learn English, so I just focus on, oh, in a day I must have to learn by heart, like um, 100 new words. So, and in the next day, I forgot, every, like I forgot everything. So since I use um, the method, this method, so I feel like, oh, it's better than uh, the, the natural method. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, you are frozen. Yeah, it's a great technique. It's a really great technique. And also practicing. The more that you, I always say, the more that you communicate in English, the better you will feel. And the more that you immerse yourself in English in a very organic way, the better you will feel, the more confident you will be. Um, whether it's listening to music, or podcasts, or watching movies, reading books, talking to people, that all contributes to enhancing your English skills. Mm, yeah. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> Do you listen to any music in English? Oh, so, like, I would say that um, my mom said to me that when I was a little girl, so I loved um, um, many band in US and UK music. So, uh, so, uh, so since there, I had a huge passion for it. So, yeah. Um, like now, I mean, like now I'm in my school. So I like now maybe that I don't get a lot of time, but my routine is in daily life is listen a song that makes my mood feel happier. That boosts yeah. your mood, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. your mood, you could say. Oh, that's good. That's really good. But like, what kind of music do you listen? Like, what are your favorite bands or groups or artists? Uh, my favorite band is Maroon Five. Do you know? Mar of course, I know Maroon Five. Uh, They're one of my favorites too. Yeah. And tell us. Do you what? like? Do you like their old music or their new music, or both? Old music. So. Um, um, so I like, so I would say that I'm a guitarist. So in, uh, so I just use, uh, to, so I just listen to the old music when I play um, uh, on, my gi on my on my guitar. So just like awesome. fingers, finger style. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I, I love guitar, but um, I love painting my nails and I love doing my So I remember when I was learning, I stopped playing because I didn't want to cut my nails anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. But I like, yeah, yeah, but I like, pl I like playing piano. I love oh, piano. piano. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I love it too. So I yeah. try that. So I try so i have tried many like instrument so maybe that really? guitar and piano and violin is one of my favorite thing yeah when i was your age i got really into playing the drums but oh. i could only play at my cousin's house because my mom didn't want me to practice uh, at home <laughs> it was too uh, loud yeah um okay so um, I want to ask you something um, uh, yeah. before we end the conversation. So mm -hmm. it's that um, I have a small English group. So um, today I want to share this conversation to in uh, my YouTube because I, um, because uh -huh. I, I want to share uh, that and I want to say uh, that video again. And maybe that's something like maybe I'm wrong or I can fix it. And maybe that I can understand that you can much. So, is is it okay? What to post this on YouTube? Hello. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, oh, thank, you. thank you. You're welcome.